Okay, so to get an idea of the range of alternative resources and aspects that you can bring into your class to assist with teaching digital technologies, I'm going to go through a series of resources that you can utilize. So what I want you to do is to take a content descriptor from the Australian curriculum, and then I want you to go to each of these resources and see if you can find an activity that would assist you in teaching that particular content descriptor or activity. So there are a range of different sources. The first is the Australian curriculum has some resources itself. The next is the Digital Technologies Hub, which has been set up by the federal government specifically to provide resources for digital technologies teachers. The third is the Grok Academy, which has been set up to provide Originally, it was primarily to provide students with an alternative curriculum, but more and more, it's also providing resources that teachers can utilize as part of the teaching of digital technologies. Then there's Code Academy, which is a US-based um, approach, similar to the Grok Academy, which again, was originally set up for students, but has over time adopted more and more of a focus around providing a structure for teachers to be able to assist students in their learning around digital technologies. And similarly, we have Code HS, which is another set of resources. Google has a relatively small set called Google CS First. And then there is a set of resources from New Zealand called CS Unplugged, which is an approach taken to teaching computing that doesn't rely upon the physical devices in their entirety. So there are a range of activities that can be used in conjunction with physical computing devices. And finally, using um, generative text, uh, using ChatGTP to create a resource for you to teach that particular concept or that content descriptor. So have a go at finding some resources to teach a content descriptor of your choice from the curriculum and we'll discuss these in the tutorial.